Welcome to more IFC. It is what it is. I want to give you all the tips, the tricks that you need achieving this beautiful style. Very, very simple. But there are some tips and tricks that you need to pay attention when you are making it. Because if you want to make the best for your clients, I advise you to watch this video to get all the tips, the tricks that is going to help you to achieve the best results. If you are new to the channel, please do watch, subscribe, like, and share. Tell a friend to tell a friend about more IFC. If you are returning, I thank you for returning back. And you have been watching and you have not been subscribing, please do so. In the part one series, this is the part two. Advice if you have not watched the part one, go and watch the part one of it. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. We'll do it and watch the part one. In the part one, this is where we ended. We ended at this part. So we continue from this part. We're gonna divide this part into three. You divide this part into three. Use your calculator and divide it by, you don't have a calculator, look at the way I'm going to use my tape measure to divide it by three. This black thing have to be longer, you know, you have to cut it long. You have to go inside the design like two inches. Do you understand? You have to go inside the design like two inches. So you divide this part into three. I'm going to use my tape measure to divide into two. So check, look at the way I'm going to divide that part into two. Like I said, this is a part two. This is a part two. If you have not watched the part one, go and watch the part one. We ended at this part at the part one. So we continue from the part one. So I divide that part into three. You can see I use my tape measure and I divided that part into three. So after you divide that part into three, the black design have to fall exactly in the middle. So look at this part. I'm going to give you all the option of this part, all the options that are going to help you. So you can see that we have the middle one. You can just flex it this way. That is an option. You can do this way or you can, you can just don't do that way. Don't do it. You can do it as an option. So that that place becomes so flare to understand so soft for you so that when you are folding it become easy for you or you can just fold it straight away that one also will happen i did not shame it then has bent my hand it is what it is you know so you can decide to just fold it straight away to understand you can decide to fold just straight away this small act that you see have to be exactly in the middle It has to fall exactly in the middle so you just like i said you can just use the iron to fold that part to make it so before doing this style so you make sure that you arrange everything and making it nice you have to blend it in like that take your time to make sure you blend it in i'm going to give you all the options that you need here this part is very very important because we just folded it, there are three ways that you can go by that spot that are going to help you. I'm going to choose what I love. So you can decide to put your hemming gum over there. This is an option. Like I said, I'm giving you all the possible solutions, all the options that you can decide to do or not to do. So you can decide to put some hemming gum over there so that it holds that spot when we blend it over. When you blend it in like this so that that part becomes so smooth and beautiful you can decide to put that hemming gum over there as well that's an option this part if you don't do it well if you don't do this part well uh, your client will wear it and wash it and the times and two days three days or so one week later that part will raise up to fall exactly how it was so I'm just putting my hemming gum. You can put your hemming gum also here. You can put, I'm giving you all the options that you can to secure that part. Because that part is very, very important. It's very, very important. Like I was saying, you can do this part and give it to your client and your client will wear it. One week later, you're going to see that part will go back as it was before. Do you understand? It's like we have not folded anything there. 
which is not good so we make sure that that part that we form that act that we form it have to lay there perfectly without raising up to understand without raising up so it have to fall exactly so these are the options that you can do to let it fall exactly how you want it to be but i have my way of doing that spot so that it will hold that spot to generation your client will wash it several times and it's still going to lay flat i have my option that i was going to choose some may decided to top stitch at the tip of it do you understand just to hold it down you can top stitch at the tip of it then it will hold it down i'm going to explain to you when we get to that spot i'll show you where sammy decided to top stitch so that you hold it down but i don't want to top stitch at that part you know i don't want to top stitch or sew at that part so i will show you my best way of doing that part i'm going to check if my phone is still recording you can see how we go through i'm standing on the table on a chair now i was just checking if my phone is recording so this part you can see we put hemming gum there to hold it down but i don't want that spot so i will get my pin and my thread i'm going to do some top stitching i'm going to do some hidden stitching to understand this is a hidden stitch no one's going to see it so that you're going to hold that act that we did you feeling it so i just have to turn it then i come to this part i'm making a hand stitching so when I stitch, it's going to touch this one that you see. You're going to touch this one. Or you can just top stitch it. Like I said, you can just top stitch and leave it that way. But I don't want to top stitch. Oh, brofi, brofi. <laughs> I don't want to top stitch on it. So I'm going to do some hemming. Like I'm going to do some stitching here with my hand. So when I stitch here, it will hold the design in front. I hope you're feeling it. I'm just using my hand and my thread and my needle, you know, just to sew at that part. This is the wrong side of it. So as I'm sewing it, I will let the pin touch the arc that we did in front so that it will hold it firmly. I hope you're feeling it. I'm just checking out. <laughs> I always have to check if my phone is recording. So when it stitches to hold that part, it's going to hold that part. But make sure that when you're stitching, when you're showing that part, the pin don't come out. You can see that I'm checking the pin has come out or not. So I don't want the pin or the thread to show outside. Do you understand? It's a hidden sewing. Like you are hemming, you know, hemming. You are hemming at that part. So you have, always have to check so that your thread will not come outside. Do you understand? Will not come in front of that part. Because I put some hemming gum, double up with hemming gum, you can see I'm checking. Because that part is going to be stiff. I've removed it because the pin has come out. I don't want my thread to be shown. So you can see that I'm checking. Yeah, I want to show you to you how you're going to see the thread inside. Because you have put some hemming gum inside, you know, there's a lot of hemming gum inside. When putting your pin needle inside, it's going to be hard. You know but you have to force yourself i will get to a certain spot not going to have to use my top to pull it out because of the hemming gum and the stuff if you make that part become thick you feel on it more ifc it is what it is just give me a thumbs up like shit more ifc i'm giving you all the tips or the options everything that you're gonna do to get the best results for your client i don't want you to do it so that um one week later your client will wash it and uh, the hemming gun will fade away and uh, that part will just like fall back don't understand you're going to be standing there it's not going to look professionally done that's why i'm giving you all these big tips so that you do it for your client so that that act that we folded that small act that we folded is gonna lay there perfectly forever ever and ever so when you get to the end you make your knots 
Remember, when starting, you have to make a notch. Bopo. Bopo. When you, from the starting, you make a notch. You, and, and you also make a notch. You can see how I make a notch over there. <laughs> so look at it. You can see it's not showing. There's no thread showing at the top. So when you look inside here, I want to show you something. Just pay up. You can see the thread inside. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. It. You can see that the thread has hold in between. You can see this is a thread that's hold the design there firmly. So when you do it this way, I fit ball. I fit. I fit. Just iron it. So it's gonna. There's no need to top sit at that part. You know, there's no need of sewing on the top of it. So here, you measure one inch around. This one inch. one inch you just have to go one inch around post videos every mondays and thursdays morale fc it is what it is show love give me a thumbs up like share tell a friend as you are benefiting there are other Students who want to benefit who are looking for this video to like to benefit to understand I'm giving you all this Tutorial all these tips to help you you can see I sometimes climb on my chair just to look if my phone is recording Just to get all the video clear without jumping no space To understand to give you the best results. So if you are not giving me a thumbs up you are not sharing it you are not supporting the team. You understand? You are not supporting Morai FC. I'm here to help you. I'm not a greedy person, and I'm just helping you guys to get the best result for your client. So what you can do is just to share my videos. You subscribe, like, share. You tell a friend to tell a friend to come and benefit and learn something for them, to, for them also to be able to do it the best way for their clients. Do you understand? For them, for them also able to do it for them client. We're gonna correct the mistakes here. Remember, like I told you, the big have to overlap on the small one. Not the small one have to overlap on the big one. We're gonna correct everything here. I'm gonna teach you how to show it as well. In the part one, I told you that the big have to overlap on the small one. Not the small one have to overlap on the big one. You can decide to leave it this way if you want. This one is also is good. It can decide it to leave it this way you can see i'm pinning everything down you can decide to leave it i'm going to teach you how to sew it together as everything more i have seen it is what it is I want everything to lay flat, everything to be lay okay because we are going to top stitch at that spot. To understand, I'm going to top stitch at that spot. So I'll flip it. Then I'm going to cut the unnecessary part out. The next side, trim that part off. The armhole and the shoulder slope, you do the same thing at that spot. For doing so just give me a thumbs up it is what it is and share it share it share it and let other people benefit if you share it it's like you have making a tutorial you too you are helping other people it is what it is so let's go and do the top stitch but wait After that, we're gonna close this part. You know, we open this part, we're gonna close it. Like I said, the big have to overlap the small one, not the small one have to overlap the big one. You can see I'm just coming from the table again. I just have to put the phone there to correct you these mistakes that we have to correct it. You can decide to leave it this way. If you want there's no mistake on that you can decide to leave it this way if you want 
but I'm going to remove it. The main design, the big part to overlap on the small one. So if you look at this, one, you can see that the small one is on top of the big one, on the big fabric. You no, know? the big fabric have to be on top of the small fabric. So we are correcting that part. So I'm going to fold. Remember, when we are cutting the fabric, we left three inches for that part. I'm going to refold the three inches back and just to like start. It's like we are starting at that spot. So we folded that three inches back. So I'm going to fold half inch out. We have three inches over there. So you're going to fold half inch out. I folded when you're cutting the fabric, we folded that sewing allowance three inches. Do you understand? And now I'm folded a uh, half inch out. In the part one, we did fold it half inch out. I brought it back again just to show you. Do you understand? So that you don't get confused. I brought it back. This we are not going to do anything here. We are not going to touch it. It's three, three inches has been folded. You can see I'm just checking this. You have to fold the same thing three inches don't fold anything back it's only the big one that we have to forward half inch forward you know so that that part will overlap i'll put fill in it when cutting the fabric i just showed that at this line we left three inches so we're going to leave the three inches but when it comes to the big fabric we have to bring half inch out to understand you bring half inch out so this half inch is the one that we're going to make us create that vent in front we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to learn or we're going to stitch it together so for you to know to understand that spot so this is how it have to be have to overlap each other like this the small one have to come to the bottom and the big one have to be on top. So when you place it, you can see that we iron there, you go, it could, to give us, it will give us a line over there. You see the folding that we did, the folding that we did to create a line inside. So all we gotta do is just you have to place it on top like this. Then you flip it. Then we sew exactly on the line. You make sure that you left um, half of an inch. You do it this way. Then you sew exactly on the line, and you're gonna reach exactly where you want your vent to stop. Do you understand? I'm just showing you so that we go to the sewing machine, then we do it together. So let's do it. The person wants me to fuse this one inside. So I guess is this an out bonus for you if your client wants you to fuse something inside. So you need to arrange it. You can see that a big fabric, the big one is on a small one, so you just have to flip it just like this. Then we're gonna place it in like this, half inch out. We're still gonna put this one somewhere. So let me put it somewhere so that we come to that part later. So this is how it will be. You see? Then we're gonna show exactly on the line. Like, give me a thumbs up, like, share, comment, you know, comment. More IFC, it is what it is. Subscribe, like. I know some people, like, some people have been watching it. They have been watching my video and they are learning a lot from my video, but they are not subscribing, which is not fair. You know that, which is not fair. You are benefiting it. So you need to subscribe. You like, you give you a thumbs up. As far as you have learned something, give it a thumbs up.
you understand not all of my videos if you have been watching other people's my colleagues videos and you have learning something from that as far as you have watched somebody's anybody's video that you have benefit even one tips you benefit something just give the video a thumbs up to anybody not only my videos to other colleagues as well if you watch their videos please give them a thumbs up that like, you go through struggle room to create a video to give it to you to give you all the tips and strategies that we are going to to make things easy for you guys to understand so you just have to keep on showing it is what it is so when you get to where you want your event to start then you just have to make a double stitch over there just to hold it down just like that because i'm going to feel something inside when i go to the black side i left a small space in there do you understand i'm going to feel something inside so when i go to where the black is i just left half inch in between them center so that i can put the design that my client wants i just do what the client wants so you can see the vent has already been created you can see just a half inch vent not too much don't give it too much just a half inch and it's going to be great so i'm going to fill this one it's like i said i left half inch in the center of this black this side so i'm just have to fuse that part in to secure it custom and demise. the guy loved this this thing i remember i did uh an outfit for him it's one of my clients i did the outfit for him he let me put some on the shoulders and the armhole on the trousers. Hey, baby. I said, dang, the guy love it. So, so what would I do? You know, when a client loves something, you just have to give it to that person how you wanted it. Do you understand? Don't change the design for your client. It's like giving somebody something to do for you and the person did it differently. You're never going to appreciate the thing. When a client gives you something to do, said, I want this style, make sure you deliver the style. Or maybe I want you to add something to this style that I want to do it for that person. Don't remove something from it. Do you understand? You make sure you give the client as he described it, as he has designed his design. Do you understand? So that he will feel happy. Because if, like this one, I will not put it there. If I was doing it for myself, I will not put it there. From the original style, original design there's nothing like this one in there do you understand but he want that thing there so you have to put it there if you remove it he's not going to feel happy when wearing that design imagine giving somebody your work to do and the person will do it differently you're not going to wait you're not going to feel happy wearing it do you understand so whatever the client demands you make sure that you deliver or maybe you tell add i want you to put this style here make sure you put it there for that person you know so be secure that part make sure you give me a thumbs up like share comment where i have seen it is what it is so you can see this is where the design this guy like that this thing eh? the way he likes it you know if i don't do it i remember i did one top i also did one close of him where the wet pocket he wanted me to put two there at the wet pocket side i forgot to put it there so after i finished i said well yo you know i'm going to um so i just created a space there and i put it there do you understand so this black that i'm doing top stitching over here if it's not long you have to do small top stitching over there do you understand you have to do a small top stitching over there if it's not long but if it is long you just have to you know or let it hold it down like that it had to pass the one inch mark that we did remember we did one inch mark here it have to pass that so that when we top stitch it to hold that part there do you understand it shouldn't have to be small inside it have to pass that one inch so we're gonna show our one inch that we did here
if you can sew on top two times, I advise you to sew on top two times because I did sew on top two times. Do you understand? So it's the same thing. They say we have to sew on the fabric two times. I think I have to make a tutorial on how to sew a fabric, how to stitch the same spot two times, the straight line, how to start it. Do you understand? So I did sew on top two times. So you make sure you do that i'm not going to go over it two times for you to see but i did sew on top two times so you can't sew on top two times you just have to leave it like that do you understand don't rush yourself don't squeeze yourself so we have done you can see how beautiful it is you see everything is hidden like this part i say it have to go inside you have to go inside so when you top stitch you don't go this part you can decide to top stitch it that's why i did some hemming uh, some stitching over there so that you hold that spot you can see how it has hold that spot so you can just do small stitching here as well just a small one to let it lay flat if you want it but i'm not going to do that do you understand i'm not going to do that so let's get to the table after joining the shoulder the sleeve everything i finish everything do you understand it's left with the irons and you know give it a press put the zipper on the shoulder if you want to learn how to pop a neck check all my videos my playlist you're gonna enjoy it i'm breaking it down so here remember we left one inch here remember we left one inch here we left one so you're gonna divide it half inch do you understand we left one here so these stones have to be exactly in the one inch you know you just have to divide it half inch then you put your stones there you make sure the distance are also the same for professional work done so you just have to mark your half inch you can see so half inch half inch half inch half inch half inch it have to it have to fall exactly in the middle of the one inch let it fall exactly in the middle of the one inch to understand you can also measure the distance to answer so that you get you mark the distance so that you just have to place it on it give me a thumbs up like share tell a friend to tell a friend about moral subscribe my brother subscribe my sisters subscribe my families and let's keep on moving on Like I was saying, if you watch anybody, any one video tutorial on YouTube, that person goes through a lot to provide you with all these tips and tricks to help you out. You know, don't do this way, you know, don't do this way. Especially when the fabric is white, you're going to spot the fabric. Just get the cloth material, then you just have to place it carefully, then you just have to place it on top, just like this. Do you understand? Get the fabric, place it. Have you seen you make sure that you take your time here and place it don't be shaking it do you understand otherwise if you shake it you're gonna like mix his direction so you just have to place it just look how i'm taking time here make sure the distance are okay it have to fall exactly in between the one inch that we left so you can see i'm taking my time to place it and i put my eye on it smoothly easily to understand for some time and you're gonna see that to match and you're gonna hold it down so like I was saying if you watch anyone videos on YouTube please do well and give that person a thumbs up I'm not talking about all of my videos I'm talking about other colleagues my colleagues that have been doing tutorial on YouTube in any video please do give the person a thumbs up the person go through a lot you know to be able to provide you with all these tips that goes around you don't know what goes around the scene to understand you can see that sometimes i cram on my chair just to check if my phone is recording because i use my phone to understand i imagine using your phone and you're gonna get a call and the call have to come inside it is what it is so show love subscribe like share tell a friend to tell a friend about Mariah C. And we keep on moving. Thank you so much. I will appreciate your time and your love. More IFC, it is what it is. You know, we keep moving. We 
keep giving all the tips and tricks that you want just to help you guys to make things easy for not cracking your brain so like i said how is how to fix a zip and on the shoulder how to pop a neck also and uh, i have all of them in my playlist so make sure you check out my playlist i make this verse this india verse uh it was amazing i love this verse the line and stuff like that it was really amazing uh, i think i have to make it tutorial i have not make it tutorial So thank you so much. Thank you so much. I will appreciate your time. Keep on learning. Keep on learning. Never stop learning. Get all the tips and tricks that you need. You can see I'm checking it. You make sure you don't burn your customer fabric. It is what it is. God bless you all. Yeah, or IFC, it is what it is.